South African Traditional Music Awards is honoring a very, very special lady this year as part of its Special Achievers Award. U.S. President Barack Obama's step-grandmother, Sarah Obama, will be honored for the work that she does in Kenya to improve the lives of her people. Well, we're very happy and honored to have her in studio with us, Mama Sarah Obama. And uh, joining her as well is Moses Obama, her grandson, and he's going to be chatting to us and also doing the interpretation. Welcome. Thank, thank you, you for thank being you. with us here. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <coughs> just to put our viewers in perspective, just to tell you a little bit about um, Sarah Obama, she is actually the third wife of Obama's paternal grandfather and uh, she was born in 1922 so that's just to put you in a little bit of perspective as to about our guest um can you tell us a little bit about yourself um your upbringing your um you, you, what you do for child education uh, she she was denied education mm -hmm. as a child. She didn't have the opportunity to get an education herself. But uh, when she found herself in a position where she was able to support education of other people, she managed to take all her children to school, including the orphans with whom she was living. Yeah. Yes. Now, I, I'm reading, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that um, uh, that that uh, Mama lives in uh, Nyangoma, Kogelo village. village. Right. Okay. What is it like there? Just paint a picture for us. What, what is the village like? Um, Nyangoma Kogelo is a just as we call it a village town, a village yeah. a place, not really a town as such, but uh, it, is rural, it is rural and it's a place which is uh, coming up. Yeah. Uh, either to, it was uh, somewhat backwards, but it has seen a lot of improvements. All yeah. the infrastructural facilities that are ne necessary for economic activities in the place are in place. And uh, there's a lot of um, cooperative work uh, going on. She's very instrumental, by the way, in bringing the people together yeah. to do their uh, cooperative kind of approach to development in the area, mostly farming yeah. and uh, education and those kind of, that kind of thing, stuff. So obviously very, very passionate about where she comes from, from her roots, from her village, and wants to see change and is implementing change. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and w what is it like, and please, please ask her, what is it like to be receiving this honor um, at the Traditional Music Awards? <laughs> ka luro maka maendi kende imi lungi south africa mundo mi eh imi ane ki chunya chunya ro ngata ngata be momi a yuto de giri kata kenya marfa mara mai ritu ngata ngata to kum chunyi to imi jona nga imi joma ber ni ki foro en tish ba sai yodo she i'm happy yes. uh, because i'm receiving an honor for the good work that i've been doing yeah. And uh, I've already been honored in Kenya. I'm a doctor um, by the Great Lakes University. Wow. And when I'm called here, it means that um, what I'm doing is not only recognized in Kenya, but also beyond the borders. So yeah. I'm very happy. That I'm is. very grateful. I, that, that's, a, that's a privilege. It's an absolute privilege. Um, at her age, and when we get to a certain age in our lives, no doubt we want to sit back, we want to relax, and we just want to enjoy and not work so hard. Mm. But it appears that Mama just wants to keep on working. What drives her? Why, why does she still want to keep on working and not sort of allow the others to take over her work? Mami yo in ibi jumana ni kaka ikinga ni kamano to podi gombo mundi team attack bentie mpango maingo mar kelo jomoko mondo okau tiji no kise emo mi andu anu kaka kuruweji mo guo kigi mo no dano be ngama gio be kachal neke chigin jonya adam ye awa to kata seti Tadwana konya tu chimo yodi, 
te komu bi obedo ntin do ma pu njoge e ma mo bi o ka o chuny ma an go ma no ma chuny o ken digri na yo do na somu ma chuny um i have a special place uh because i'm kind of blessed to be a channel through which people can get assistance yes. so long as people can get assistance through me that is good for me and she'll keep doing it yes and she'll keep doing it uh, and uh, among those people who are benefiting from the charitable work that i'm doing some of them will come up and will emulate what i'm doing yeah. and that will be good for mankind yeah Yeah, we, we talk about accolades and like you were saying, um, in Kenya being recognized, getting a doctorate, um, also here in South Africa getting acknowledged. But I, I believe it was in November 2014 that Mama was actually recognized by the United Nations right. for her work on education. Right. Uh, that must have been an amazing moment for her. Of course. What was it like? New uh, York. New York. Na winyo mabero mm. New York and I said the Avenger mm. kata Canada mm. kata Manka Medina lugonga kwa mchuj mara mango mm. kura winyo mabero kichikundi milonga go giwi njo homa gime tiro manyasayo mea e, kendo ketivi ya ahero gima kamana okay. ahero gmora mora Aye. it is true that I've received accolades uh, in fact the New York honor uh, which was given to me was just one along the way yeah. before that had been honored in, in several other places mm. and I traveled to many countries. Yeah. It was a, a great turning point for me on the one hand because it now uh, brought to the specter of the world what I'm capable of doing and what I've been doing. Yeah. So it was a great appreciation. Yeah. Yes. L let's talk a little bit if we can about, about her, her uh, her grandson, because I call her the grandson because I know that um, um, President Barack Obama calls her Granny Sarah, even though mm. it may, may not be a blood relation, but he sees her as, as her granny. What are relations like with him, firstly? And secondly, it, does it help having a grandson who is the President of the United States of America <laughs> to do her work? Jalnadi, relationship married with Barack. Barack? Barack Okani madina ni school kaguno set to to ntini ni ni school of the america call na ticket ma be do do chare okono kindo oneno ka here di family ne kaka na heru one a get a stage when you want it the relationship between her and barak is special yes yeah um she was invited to harvard first by barak who sent a ticket for him to go and visit her at the university. She just said that she was invited to the university to go and visit Barak, Wonderful. and she s he sent her a ticket. Yeah, yes. And uh, th that was great. But um, so far as the president, our relationship is perfect. Yeah. Uh, Barak himself knows that I raised his father, and he really appreciates that. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't waste any opportunity yeah. <laughs> to, to, to showcase to the world that he's proud to have me as her grandmother. Yeah. Well, he's your cousin yes. as well. Do, do you call him Barack, the way you're referring to him? Yeah. When, you, when you saw him, did he, did he come and visit the family? Because he visited the continent recently. Right. Um, what's it like seeing, seeing him? I mean, do you call him Mr. President? Do you call him Barack? Do you hug him? Are you allowed to be close and warm to him as family would be? Actually, the relationship with Barack is huge because he's somebody who's down to earth. And um, given that he had been to Kogelo, the village. I think this is the third time I was coming to Kenya. Yeah. Um, but um, to the village, I'd been there twice. Yes. Once as a student, and then secondly, as a senator. Yeah. Um, so he knows as a number of us. And uh, when he came, when we were meeting at, 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 uh, in Nairobi, at Camp Pisk, he didn't have the opportunity to go home yeah. because you just can imagine the entire American government going to the place. It's a bit challenging. It is a very yeah, challenging so thing. So we met the entire family at Kempinski wow. in Villa Rosa in Nairobi, and uh, we mingled like real folks. Yeah. Yeah. I greeted each and every person. Yes. He moved from table to table where groups were sitting after addressing everybody, right. table to table, yeah. chatting with this group, trying to know about their their, their position, their situation at home yeah. and appreciating. And also, um, after that, he, 
he took a, a family photo and then one on one with every person was there. Wow. I think there's nothing much <laughs> to show the, that is the, the love of a president yeah. for his family. And you can only Kenya. imagine you can only imagine now that mm. um, um, when, when his term as U.S. president comes to an end, I'm sure that his relationship with all of you will just be even bigger and he'll be visiting you without the big entourage. He, he personally told us that. that he he personally said that he, it, has, it has been because of the American system, yeah. the leaders in America. Of course, in every country they have got their own system. Indeed, indeed and, they, and they do. Therefore, their checks and this and what you can do. We so he wasn't that free, but now... In one and a half years' time, to use his exact words, yeah. he will be with us down on the ground and Fantastic. doing a lot of projects with us. Well, I am so proud of, of your grandmother. I'm proud of the whole family for keeping up that respect and, and, and having something to be proud of is the work that your grandmother is doing. And thank you so much. Please pass our, our, our great wishes on to her for receiving this award that will be happening at the South African Traditional Music Awards. Uh, it's happening over this weekend. And uh, this was Moses Obama, the grandson of Sarah Obama. This, of course, is uh, President Barack Obama's step-grandmother, Sarah Obama.